Samsung's plan to bring a $17 billion semiconductor chip factory to Taylor could lead to a flood of new tech companies building right here in Central Texas. KVU's Mike Marouk spoke one-on-one -on -one with Congressman, Congressman Michael McCall about how our region could help end a global shortage. A November announcement a made it official. Samsung has chosen Taylor, Texas as the site. A $17 billion dollar factory in Taylor, which Austin Congressman Michael McCall helped push for. We're seeing, uh, you know, Samsung 17 billion, uh, and that's just the start of it. I think you're going to see probably over time, probably close to maybe 100 billion. How does this impact the short term future for other investments? And 17 billion will be the largest foreign direct investment in the United States. That's given them the optimism to invest in U.S. expansion. Intel, IBM are, are looking at an, a $20 billion investment uh, in the United States. I know Micron is doing the same. And many of them are all looking at uh, the Austin area as a place to uh, uh, to do business. Congressman McCall helped write the Federal Chips for America Act. He says it's designed to lure more large semiconductor investments to the United States and hopefully Texas. Most of the time, projects like these come with big tax breaks. The tax incentive is, was important in the grant program as well, but I don't think you want to do that for every business. Th the reason why we did it in this case is because uh, advanced semiconductor chips are so important to our national security apparatus. A whole rural community is going to be reaping the benefits of this. How far do you see those benefits stretching? Well, I think the economic benefits certainly uh, cross the county line into Travis County. When you look at a um, force multiplier of Intel looking at Austin uh, to do their fabrication plants and Micron, these are some of the largest uh, semiconductor uh, manufacturers in the country, if not the world. Samsung expects to start construction next year and start producing semiconductor chips in 2024. In Austin, I'm Mike Marut.